Hello everybody and welcome to my video. This is all about microblading from beginning to end microblading and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my eyebrows how they were before. I'm going to show them while they're being done and I'm going to show them through the healing process and how they look after six weeks. I think it's six to eight weeks you have to wait and then um, I'm going to show them again when I get the second procedure done and then again the healing and the final effect so it's gonna take me a few weeks to film this a few months perhaps but I will get it done and I will get back to you guys with um, yeah my experience so here goes here are my eyebrows currently um, I've just put some powder with a brush on um, just kept it simple um, yeah so I'm very nervous I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit freaking terrified um, yeah but I know I'm gonna be happy once it's done because I have had it done before. Good news is guys, microblading fades. So if you absolutely hate it, um, there is that. It does fade so you can literally start again. Um, you saw what my eyebrows look like, or have a look now, if I haven't shown you yet, um, of what they look like with faded and honestly, you can't even see anything was ever done. So just know if you hate them, it's not gonna last forever. Um, I had mine done nearing the end of 2017 so these are my brows like what is that two two years later because now I'm having them done beginning of 2020 so today the lady said she's gonna do a color correction because when um, when I have no makeup on they have a slightly purpley look to them so she said she'll do a color correction microblading and some shading or something somewhere I don't know, we'll see what she does but I'm just hoping that they look good that's I don't want to look like a clown. Hey guys, we have arrived at what's called Beautiful Bubby, and I'm a bit nervous. Uh, we are early, we're about 40 minutes early. So we're gonna go up the stairs, and she doesn't know I'm here, I did let her know. They're just busy with the meeting, so hopefully she'll be able to get started a bit earlier than what we anticipated. So, come have a look. Come cook. Looks like a massage room in there and one in over there. So here we are waiting. Uh, got a little kitty on the table and a Chloe in the background. <laughs> and now we wait. I must admit, I'm very, very nervous. I don't know why. I've had it done before. I'm just, I think I'm scared that something will go wrong. They won't do it right and it's permanent. I think that's where the fear comes from. So. Have a good chat to her, I think, before we start. <laughs> the, the, the color, it's not, I don't know if it's even too noticeable now, it's like purple. Yes. You can see it. Yeah. yeah. The purple, it, is it normal? Wanna, I don't want to it's say it's normal, it shouldn't happen. And if the color is matched right to your yeah. skin, but also sometimes as a tattoo agent, depending on your skin, not a good candidate for microblading. So you said you're going to correct the color. Yes, we're going to do color correction for, for you. something or other. Yeah. And you definitely want the microblading. You don't want to do a powder brow or anything like that. What is a picture of a powder brow? Will you show me what it so looks like? Yes, if you picture, actually, what you have now looks like a faded powder brow. Mm -hmm. The yeah, brow gives you like a makeup-y look, you know, when um, it looks as if you have a little bit of powder on your brow. Okay. That's exactly what it says, actually. Chloe's laughing at me. She says I look what? Like you have no eyebrows. Like I have no eyebrows. But that is exactly why I am here, is it not? So anyway, so at the moment they have um, the numbing cream on and um, <laughs> I realize they look very funny and yeah you can see basically what's left of my eyebrows from the last tattooing we just had a chat now about whether I want to go for <laughs> look funny whether I want to go for powder brows or microblading but I think microblading is the most natural looking when you're not wearing makeup so I think that might be my my choice um, yeah so we just got to wait half an hour for the numbing cream to work and then we will begin
So guys, here is the finished eyebrow. Is it focused? Yeah, so that, I can tell you right now, was not painful at all. Right near the end, somewhere on this side, one hurts. But apart from that, it was absolutely divine. They are narrower than what I normally wear my brows, but I will get used to them. And if we want to go a bit thicker, I suppose you can next time. But we'll, we've got six weeks to get used to them before I come back for my touch-up. And the numbing cream was amazing. Everything she did, amazing. I cannot fault her. Lovely personality, gorgeous girl, Bianca at Beauty by B. It is Beauty by B, hey? Yeah. Hey? B -A. B -A, Beauty by B <clears throat> at Lavender Blue East London. So yeah, so this is her work and yeah, six weeks healing. I will give you a play by play, a day by day on how the healing goes. Every single day I will do a little clip for you if I remember. And then yeah, and then we'll see closer again to when I have to come for my touch up. Good morning guys, it is day two of my eyebrow transformation um so basically last night i tried not to sleep on my eyebrows like on the side so i was trying to sleep on my back or shoving the pillow up oh i did not sleep well so and then i got paranoid that i was rubbing off the vaseline and the eyebrows were going to dry and scab too fast and so it went on so i was up at like one o'clock this morning and i cleaned them so the cleaning procedure is uh, unscented baby wet wipe or a clean face cloth wet <clears throat> and you gently wipe the Vaseline off the brows and then you apply a new coat of Vaseline um, so I was up at one o'clock doing that then I felt a bit better and then I slept um, so I'm not sure how to go about it today I think I just put a little more Vaseline on now because um, some face powder fell onto my brows so um, I put some Vaseline on now and then tonight I think bless you and then tonight I will um, clean and put more Vaseline again um, yeah so they're looking quite good oh, I love how nice and dark they get but once they heal they're not as dark it's just that this the scabs still have like ink in them so it's nice and dark but I like those so when I shower this morning you obviously can't get them wet so I used a wet wipe, a facial wet wipe to clean my face and then my hair still clean so I just tied it up and um, I just did like a body wash so you know I'll be doing that for a few days until my hair is so greasy I don't know what to do with it and then we'll have to move on to plan B whatever plan B may be but yeah day two day three and this is what we have I don't know if you can see very nicely there I hope you can nicely no problems no it's not painful at all last night I slept much better I just thought you know a little bit of Vaseline comes off it's no probs I'll just put it back on in the morning which I did so yeah I slept much better and yeah not so at all and it hasn't started to crust off or scrape off or the scabs come off yet um, I have that probably to look forward to in the next few days so day three doing well just the way I like it. Mm. Eyebrow update. Looking good. It's day five. And they are looking great. And I'm so impressed. She's done such a good job. I don't have any nasty scabbing yet. Good morning, guys. I'm coming at you from day five. Day four was my first day back at work, so nothing was going to happen. But day four was, it was very tingly and itchy and a little bit sore. And I think that's just part of the, the healing. Um, today, perfect so far. And I think the difference between this procedure I had and the last three I had in the past, the last three, they, my, 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 my eyebrows got very flaky and scabby and gross and they were patchy and I was embarrassed. Um, this is day five and I'm waiting for it to happen and it hasn't yet, I hope it doesn't. But honestly, I think what the difference is, is the, the, the aftercare. Uh, before I was given all these expensive creams and all these procedures and all that type of thing. And this time it was unscented baby wipes and unscented Vaseline. Vaseline, she called it, it was so funny. Um, so I think just the simplicity of that and the, the Vaseline actually like 
moisturizes the area whereas the expensive products that were given I think were thicker and they almost like sealed the area so they weren't moisturizing and I don't know it scabbed terribly and this hasn't happened she said it was uh, I can't talk it's so early she said it was a slow heal so I can only assume that this is the way to go honestly and I would recommend this particular way of healing to anyone with the Vaseline and wet wipes I mean so simple so simple um so yeah so I'm quite excited to see what happens next let me give you a close-up are we focused didn't see me standing here <laughs> anyway so yeah that's day five and that is how we are looking and I will get back to you with more progress day six I'm cleaning them and I wanted to show you guys um, this guys is a tiny piece of um, scab that's come off when I was putting my Vaseline on after cleaning them on day six hey guys coming to you from day seven exactly one week ago I had them done and here is where we are at. I hope you can see them clearly. Yeah. So all there has been is literally is a, a little bit of um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, morning or evening, I don't recall. I think it was the morning when I wiped them with a the wet wipe. There was the tiniest little specks of um, brown on the wet wipe, like maybe five tiny pieces. So that's tiny pieces of scab my cat's in the tree outside. Um, so that's that's pretty much the only scabbing that has happened that has come off. It's been such a beautiful slow scab that the healing has been fantastic. I am like so totally and utterly impressed. She's done an amazing job. It is two weeks since I've had the microblading done. I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, there goes the mozzie. Hey guys, it's a bit windy. It is six weeks later and I'm back at Lavender Blue and I'm about to go and have my touch up. I'm probably not going to film too much so I'm not sure what we'll get to see the second time round because my little camera girl isn't here today. She's at home. Um, so yeah, just a basic touch up. Going to have a look how it's doing and then um, yeah. I must admit it is far more comforting sitting here today knowing what to expect having been through the treatment before with uh, Bianca and just knowing her her systems and how she does stuff and her, her competence that really really helps so I'm far more relaxed playing the waiting game now with waiting for the anesthetic to kick in and to make me nice and numb. And we are done. What do you think? Oh, it definitely hurt a bit more this time. I think it's that I'm on my period, so apparently you're more susceptible to pain. And um, there's obviously scar tissue from six weeks ago, so it was a lot more sensitive, but I'm very happy. The color's much warmer. So yeah, so now we go into another six weeks healing process. And she says in six weeks she likes to be back just to do a little bit of tinting of my six brows that I do have. <laughs> so yeah, I will monitor how the healing goes. Good morning guys it is the following morning and I thought I would show you my skin my eyebrow cleaning routine so basically I take an ordinary wet wipe and I have rinsed it under the, the water under the cold water and I just squeezed out all of that product and chemical so it's like a nice just really just a little clean wipe and then just gently but firmly you know not too gently go over the eyebrows you should probably turn it so you don't cross and fix if there isn't something starting so on day two they tend to get a lot darker and um, what is the word I'm trying to find darker and 
just darker. So basically I'm loading an earbud with some Vaseline. And there we go. I will also do the other brow, um, but then what I do when I put on my makeup is I will um, work around it. So I will do my eyelid, I'll make sure I brush the makeup I put around and say with powder and then once powder's on obviously it like sprinkles over your Vaseline a little so I just come back again with another I suppose you could put it on after the makeup but I just like to make sure it's on and then do everything around it so that is my morning procedure and my evening procedure obviously when I take off my makeup I take my makeup off and then do my eyebrows with a new clean rinsed wet wipe and more Vaseline twice a day every day for at least 10 to 14 days to guarantee no scabs no infection just a beautiful wet healing process so okay and that is the makeup done and um, not so bad guys and let me tell you it is worth having shiny brows for 10 days to avoid the scabbing process the scabbing is disgusting sorry i'm so hot it's gross it's it leaves patches on your brows it makes you feel ugly it makes you feel like you don't want to go out in public if i can recommend please 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 do a wet healing with the wet wipes and the vaseline it is like i just don't see any other way i just it's not worth it so this way shiny brows which actually come on they don't look so bad so i would suggest that and here i am offering all sorts of advice but let me offer you the first piece of advice before you do anything do your research go to a reputable person who knows what she's doing she's been for proper training proper products you need to look into what products she uses does she advertise her products so if she doesn't advertise her products she's not proud and that was advice from Bianca she's not proud of what she uses so she can't brag about it so look at that you know make sure she's bragging about her product showing you and being open about what product she uses and yeah you know, just someone who's been around the block look at her Facebook look at her Facebook she must have a Facebook she has to if nothing else she must have a Facebook or an Instagram or something and just have a look at her work before and after is very very important I mean how would you know what you're getting if you don't look at someone's before and after so <laughs> so yeah so very very important is research properly who is going to be implanting semi-permanent dye into your face like that's a biggie oh Another little word of advice is to shower. Now, obviously, you've just had your brows done and you're not supposed to get them wet. They say you can get them wet, but don't soak them. So no swimming or sauna or anything where sweat sits on them. So no exercise, no running, no, what's it called? Um, park runs, no park runs or park walks. Nothing with sweating. Um, so no sweating. So perhaps avoid the husband for a few days, guys. Um, yeah, so. So how I do it is before I get in the shower, bearing in mind that I want the heating process to be as perfect and as smooth and uncomplicated as possible, I do exactly what is, what is instructed. So also your practitioner should, practitioner is that the right word? She should also send you your, your pre, so when you book your appointment, you should immediately get information as to what to avoid a week before, a day before, an hour before, a month before, whatever it is. You should get that well in advance. Once you know what's happening, abide by it like do what they say and um so i don't want to wet my brows i don't want to risk anything so what i do is i slather the vaseline on get in do my shower do whatever you have to do as quick as possible get out and then i do my face and then i'll wet wipe my brows and put on a human decent amount of vaseline but that's just to avoid them getting wet because vaseline doesn't wet them but it keeps them moist in a good way moist in a good way um, so yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there and then I'll check back in with you soon. Hey guys, it has been three months since I've had my final touch up on my brows. I'm very happy. Um, Bianca did explain to me that because I have oily skin, um, the, the individual lines may not be as prominent as somebody with a drier skin. Um, and that it may end up looking more like I had a powder brow done, which is literally using the tattoo machine with little feather like strokes and it leaves it looking like literally like you've put powder on it so that is what i've ended up with am i happy i did microblading 100 percent. am i happy with the results 100 percent. i'm so happy to wake up in the morning and have eyebrows for a long time i would not leave the house like years without having my eyebrow makeup on and what a relief it is to be able to just wake up 
shower and go if I need to. It has been amazing and thank you to everyone who, well, Bianca, thank you Bianca. And um, guys, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed doing this video and I hope it's been informative for you and I hope it helps you decide whether or not you want to do microblading. And if you do, I hope there's some helpful advice that you guys can use. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below and a happy comment. And I will see you on the next one, whatever that may be. Bye, guys. Mwah.